Hey there guys, this is Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google and I have to say, customization for the Pixel Fold is in a tough spot right now because of its foldable form factor. With traditional smartphones, you have hundreds of options for launchers, but based on my experience, the Pixel Fold has maybe four viable options. And as someone that loves Android customization, I wanted to show you the best launchers I found for the Pixel Fold. And I hope this helps anyone looking to revamp their home screen experience. For this list, I wanted to start with the most interesting launcher first. And to me, that goes to Total Launcher. The reason I picked this up is because Total Launcher has the deepest, most customizable interface on this list, and it works seamlessly with the Pixel Fold's inner and outer screens. Effectively, this is a free form, build your own launcher type of launcher with the option to have a completely separate layout for the cover screen than you would for the inner screen, which I know is a common pain point regarding the default Pixel launcher. I do have to warn you though, there is a huge learning curve to get the layout built how you want it to. This just comes with playing around with the software as there really isn't a tutorial of any kind. So if you do download this, be prepared to mess around with it for a few hours. On a basic level, you turn on edit mode and then from there you can add apps, app drawers, and widgets with the ability to resize them or place them as needed. There's no forced grid, so you can literally place anything anywhere. And on top of that, there's also another settings interface where you can alter things like the animations, add an icon pack, or tweak the general behavior of the launcher itself. From my experience, the limit to what you can do really just comes down to creativity. As an example, for my Pixel Fold, I designed the cover screen 100% around me. So the cover screen has the most basic important things in my life easily accessible, like the verse of the day, Google Keep for taking notes, steps for the day, a Google search bar, and my scripts in Google Docs, plus a small app drawer. Then for the inner screen, I have a completely overhauled for leisure with big, beautiful widgets and entertainment apps easily accessible. Admittedly, I'm still working on maximizing the space, but so far, I'm happy with the aesthetics and like I said, the only limit is your creativity and how much time you want to invest. When it comes to stability, I have to say I've had no issues at all, which is unusual compared to the other launchers I've tried. Most launchers lag or glitch out when switching from the inner display to the outer display, but with Total Launcher, it's been very clean and stable. This next launcher is the exact opposite in the aspect that it requires very little setup time and for that, we're going with Niagara Launcher. You might have heard of it, but if not, it's basically a gorgeous, well-animated, streamlined home screen experience that works perfectly with the Pixel Fold on both the inner and outer screen. Niagara puts everything on one singular home screen, kind of like a social media feed. At the top, you get the date, time, and weather. Underneath, you get a dedicated place for widgets that can be rotated with a swipe to the left or right. Underneath that is your favorite, most used apps. And then to access the entire app drawer, it's done through the built-in global search or the alphabetical list on the right hand side. From a broader perspective, this launcher is basically for those that want a simple, minimalistic interface to make changes and build on top of. You won't be able to change the structure of the home screen per se. It's always going to be this list of you, but you can tweak everything you see here to some degree from adding icon packs to customizing or even outright replacing the clock widget. With this launcher, there are a few features I particularly like to see. One is the Niagara button. This allows you to swipe up or tap on it to perform an action. For me, I enable the tap function to open up Google search and the swipe up to open threads, which I'm probably going to change at some point in the future. <laughs> I also like how the notifications are tucked away underneath the app labels for a clean, easy look into what's going on. Probably the only thing I dislike about this is the cost to upgrade to Niagara Pro. With Pro, you get a handful of features that mainly revolve around fine tuning and customization. For what I can tell, you don't need the Pro version to enjoy using it, but if you wanted to, it would cost a whopping $30, which for some people, including me, that's a small price to pay for the hard work that the devs put in. On the other hand, I can totally see how $30 is too much for a launcher. So either way, it's worth a try, even on the free version, as this is one of the few launchers that actually work well with the Pixel Fold. For this last launcher, I personally consider it to be very similar to Nova Launcher, with maybe two thirds of the customization. The name of our third recommendation is called Apex Launcher. And the main reason we're talking about it today is because it works very well with the Pixel Fold in both the inner and outer screens. It does have a basic framework that you can build off. So it's not too confusing to work with. And like I said earlier, there is quite a bit of customization to make it really feel like your own. With Apex, it works exactly like a traditional launcher does with grids, rows, and columns. You can customize the dock, how the app drawer looks, add icon packs, 
add custom gestures to open applications or perform certain actions. Most importantly, it's fully functioning with the Pixel Fold in terms of scaling. The biggest issue I've seen is that they stretch out the home screen over the two halves of the inner display, whereas the stock Pixel Launcher, it smushes two screens together for one home screen. For now, Apex is a much better option than Nova, at least until Nova Launcher gets foldable support. And as a quick honorable mention, I wanted to give the Microsoft Launcher a few moments here. I bring this up because it works fairly well with the Pixel Fold, has a decent amount of customization with the downside of it being a little glitchy. In normal cases, it does stretch out one home screen over both displays when using the inside screen, but it does work. Personally, I just really like that the Microsoft Launcher has support for icon packs and the ability to tweak almost everything from gestures to the dock and also has a handful of options for the home screen itself. Probably the most interesting features that set this apart are the Microsoft services, such as the curated feed and integration for the calendar, to-do, sticky notes, etc. Like I said though, it is a little glitchy, the main issue being that the UI shifts a bit when switching display modes, which does look pretty ugly at times. Unfortunately, with the Pixel Fold being so new, these seem to be the best options at this time, which for someone that loves customization, I am a bit disappointed. Hopefully, as time goes on, compatibility will slowly come to more launchers because while the Pixel Launcher is fine, there needs to be more customization or else we're going to have to try other options. So either way, I hope this video helps. I'm going to get out of here so I can work on the next one. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google, and I hope to see you in the next video.